I just fucked your bitch, it's a bowl of socks I just hit a lick, it's a bowl of flip flops She gon' do a split, if she make it pop He gon' talk that shit, I'ma grip the clock What's up guys, Jensen here, I'm here with El Trapo Me and him decided to build a stair trap Because a lot of people be using the stair trap to like kill people So basically what they do is they'll fight on here and knock them off And hopefully not get knocked off so me and El Chapo decided to build a trap that doesn't show redstone and makes it look like it's in, like not obvious at all. So pretend someone's chasing me and I pot I have speed on and like pots and I run up the stairs and make sure you put waypoints on it. So right when I walk, walk over the trap, El Chapo pulls the lever and they fall. So this is what it looks like my point of view. So I'm going to show their point of view. So when I say pull it, pull it, pull it. And they fall and leave it open. So basically this is what happens, um, this is what the redstone looks like. It's kind of like the hill trap, but the redstone is way different from the hill trap. Um, this is what the, we got the idea from. I don't know who made the hill trap, um, but shout out to them. But this is what it is. We actually like made the redstone really tight, so it doesn't like show, like show everywhere. So we're going to show what the redstone looks like on the hill trap. And as you can see right here, this is what it looks like. Um, you press the lever, wall comes up, and that comes down. And as you can see, this won't work well on stairs. So like if we had stairs like right here and right there, we couldn't put stairs right there all the way down. And it it is kind of hard to flip the sides because we had to mess with the redstone to actually do it. Like we had to put double repeaters because it powered this piston. I don't know how, but it powered this piston. So that's how we made it look like. Um, it's not really that hard to make. So you could probably make this in wilderness or your claim, whatever. And a lot of these um, stairs are next to in exit, which is really, really awesome because a lot of people do go up these stairs. So you can get these, use this trap and kill a lot of people with it. So we're going to show you how to make it. It's really not that hard. It doesn't really take that much um, redstone and stuff like that. So yeah. Now we're going to show you how to build it. Um, this trap can go as long as you want. It can go up to like 15, 400. But try to keep it down under 15. The more wider the stairs are, the more people go up. But sometimes people just go up no matter what if it's next to like an exit or something. But if you have this in your claim, um, try to, the more wider it is, the more better. But keep it under 15 because it does get kind of delayed after, um, you know, after over 15. Because then you got to add an extender on it. And that takes about like a second off on the other side of the 15. And as you can see here, we made it over 400. And at the end of it, it took about four seconds for it to um push open the trap up so try to keep under 15 so we're gonna try we're gonna try to um show you how to do it on stairs because y'all might well obviously you're gonna build it on stairs and we're not gonna do it on flat ground so this is like how you put it next to spawn or something um each row is gonna take up two stairs four sticky pistons four repeaters a lot of cobblestone one torch and a lot of redstone so that's for each row so make sure you have Whatever, how many rows you want, this times this. So if you have four times four, what is it? Chapo, what is it? I don't know math, bro. I don't know math. All right. So yeah. And so we're going to show you how to do it. So what you want to do is find a spot where you want to put it at. So if you want it right here, if you want this spot to come down and this side to come up, destroy the block where you want to pull down. So it should look kind of like this. And destroy it. there's blocks underneath destroy it too so look kind of like this and watch your step if it is kind of high so you don't die and stuff like that so once you do that what you want to do is go down three so one two and three destroy this block right here and destroy this block and then what you want to do is build across and this is kind of tricky here so make sure you pay attention um not counting this third one right here so one two and three not counting this block right here um, you want to add 12 so not this one but 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then fill it all in and this is what the platform you're going to use to get on it and then you're just going to use this platform to build your trap so then after you do that you can just place your stairs back where they were and like go down here so now you want to do is is make sure that's that doesn't have to be flat it can be like this actually so now you want to do is and get the part where it is going to push up so this wall pulls down this wall pushes up you want to do is place blocks like that 
like this and then double the row so it has two blocks like this then place your torches down like that and then go back on the stairs so we want to go back over here and then place your sticky pistons like that and this is the part where it's going to push down and then what you want to do is place your stairs back and then get down there again which is like he's going to do this there you go you're down here and now you want to do is place your sticky pistons like this so double it should be a wall and make sure there's a gap right here between that these pistons and this one and then go on this side again so once you do that your pistons should look like this as you can see this box is going to pull down and these pistons push right there and pull it back and that should be and then what you want to do is for this block oh, for this one right here so make sure you know where it's at this block right here pushes down and you want this block to push up destroy the blocks that push up now and place a block where the sticky pistons are and place another sticky pistons like that and then place your stairs black back I almost hit black I'm so sorry for that and then now what we want to do is destroy the cobblestone like that so your pistons should look like this as you can see these blocks push up these blocks push in and these pistons push up or push down or pull down to get your thing so it should look kind of like this now that you got that we're now going to do the redstone um, since you're on this platform right here what you do is destroy these cobblestones under these pistons right here so it should look like this and then place your repeaters like this and then place your redstone down like that once you do that what you want to do is place two rows of cobblestone um, behind the on the bottom sticky pistons and then place your repeaters there again and then once you do that what you want to do is place cobblestone like three cobblestones like this so it, look, it should look like kind of like this and then place your repeaters like that and double the row of repeaters because um, if you don't make sure you get this right here if you don't um, put the double repeaters if you put this like that this right here will power this piston I don't know how but it does so you have to place the second row of repeaters to um, do that so make sure you get that second row of repeaters if you don't it's just gonna mess with the whole trap so well it won't mess with the trap these would just stay open or on so it won't pull this down but the wall will come up but there's no point in the wall coming up with this you know so make sure you get that double row of repeaters now you want to hook up your redstone so basically what you want to do is power this row first so we do is go out three and then place your repeater right here put it on one tick so it should look kind of like this place a block like this and then place your torch like that and then once you do that you can destroy this block right here and then push your lever like that so as you can see it should look kind of like this don't press the lever yet it should always stay on do not press it throughout this whole process unless you're done with the thing so now you want to do is you want to bring your redstone from on the bottom and then place a block like that and place it like that do not press it still because it will mess with your trap and then now you want to connect the top so you do is bring this out like that and now like that now your redstone your trap is done it's really not that hard so now when you press it press it it should look like this and so now you want to do is destroy this block like that and then place these blocks like that so no one can get out and then just destroy your path so you can't really see it now undo it fully automatic you don't have to replace it and you know keep on trapping people that's it for today guys um hopefully you do join this trap this is like one of the first automatic traps in a while um yeah, I don't really like these young little traps, but no one's made this trap in the stairs. But I'm not taking credit for this trap. I just made it like kind of a new design. So I don't know how that works, but yeah. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you liked the video. Um, please subscribe, like. Um, I am going to release a 1K montage and a special thing coming up for 1K. I already have 1K, but the reason why I haven't uploaded the thing is because I had a copyright strike once I uploaded it to my unlisted thing. And not a copyright, cli uh, strike, a copyright claim, 
and yeah so I'm re-editing the whole thing with new music and stuff like that so that's coming out soon and I'm gonna release a redstone world um, this is gonna have all my traps I made on there including some traps that I haven't released yet just like some traps that are not really that big that I don't really use but they're new traps so yeah that's pretty much it guys hope you enjoy the video and peace